The official first day of fall is this weekend, but Buena Vista celebrated a little early with their annual Fall Colors Festival. Sherelle Moore takes us into the event. The season changes upon us. Soon, we should be seeing all the colors of autumn filling the trees. Mostly yellow. I see red. It's very hard to schedule and tell you what the colors are going to be, but there's some pretty good color right now this year. The annual Fall Festival at Buena Vista is meant to celebrate the season. It's been known as the Fall Festival for about 20 years now. But before that, it was known as Logging Days. We started Logging Days originally back about 40 years ago, approximately. And it became such a challenge of getting logs and uh, teamsters and stuff now. So we switched it to Fall Color Rides and everybody likes the temperature. There were tons of fall activities families could participate in over the weekend, from petting goats and mini horses to learning how to lasso. We got pumpkins. And we got cobblestone. My favorite thing so far is the wood sculptor with the chainsaw or the blacksmith. The main attraction was a hay bale ride, so attendees could really get a good look at the budding leaves of fall. Our favorite, our favorite part about today was the, um, the wagon ride, and because we got to ride and see the lake and stuff. It was a little gloomy on Saturday, but organizers say that was definitely a good thing, because it makes for a perfect trip for the horses. Today is a little overcast, but it's much better than a hot sunny day. The horses get in quite a workout pulling up that hill. So if it was hot and sunny, the horses would probably tire out faster than they are today. Reporting of Bemidji, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. Sounds like a chainsaw was nearby. It does sound that <laughs> way, doesn't it? <laughs> Organizers say the festival usually sees around 1,000 people throughout the weekend. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.